Welcome back, folks, to another episode of Let's Play Gothic. Now, in the last episode, we actually managed to get two people in the new camp and the old camp towards our side, and we have a pretty darn good sword for the time being. Now, we're going to use that sword to travel towards the new camp. Um, you might venture a guess where that might be. Yes. Down there, where the evil, evil goblins of evil are. I'm not sure if I can beat them with that sword. We have a little bit better... Oh, stats at the moment, as previously, but not too much better. I'm trying to get one goblin and try if I can kill it. It's just one at the beginning anyway. So, we're gonna see what we can do here. I'm not convinced that I can beat it, but we'll see. I'm gonna bum rush it. That's probably the best idea. Got it. And before it can actually do anything, we're gonna kill it. They don't carry stuff around, unfortunately. Unlike in the second game, where they actually do carry around things. Oh! Are there two sect members here? I wonder what they are doing, actually. Who are they? A Templar and... Gornadrak. I'm gonna talk to them. Hi! Where are you off to? Indeed! We take the Minecrawler Secretion from our brothers in the old mine to Kor Kalam. We go to the old mine every day to collect it. All right. So, what kind, what of, secretion kind of secretion is it? is it? We obtain it from the mandibles of the mine crawlers. If you know how to do it, you can take them out without losing the secretion. Can you tell me how to get the secretion? Indeed. Of a how mine do you do that? Of course. After you've killed the beast, you get hold of the mandibles and pull them straight out. This way, you'll get the secretion gland without destroying it. That sounds painful, though. <laughs> what does Corkalam need the secretion for? As far as I know, he makes a potion with it which increases the magic powers of a novice. Since we are preparing for the great invocation, he can't get enough of the stuff. That sounds with like a drug addict, potion, honestly. <laughs> he'll prepare the novices for the great day. Have you enough of the potion for the great invocation of the sleeper? No, we still have to collect much more. Our mine crawler hunting units are in action day and night. All right. So basically, these two guys, Gornadrak and that other Templar, are walking towards the old mine and back all the time. You just have to find them by chance on the, on the way towards the target location, and you can basically talk to them and let yourself get that get taught that method of getting those mandibles out of the mine crawlers. But you say, oh, what are mine crawlers? Well, we will see that in not, not too far away future. For the time being, let's just say there are not things you want to... What the? Oh, I think they're fighting the scavengers, aren't they? Ooh, I don't want them to fight the scavengers because they are my experience points. I need to hurry a little bit here to make sure that I can actually get the experience of those things. Yeah, they're probably killing it with one hit. Oh no, it's my experience. Damn you, Templar! I need to make sure they're not killing too many things on their way. Because they're my experience points. I believe that should be fine for now. Because the more I can kill of these things, the better it is at the beginning. And the less I get, the worse it gets for me. Right, we're going to take a little bit of a detour here inside that cave. Because, you know, dark cave and all. Oh, three mole rats are a lot. Let's go a little bit back. That's one more rat. Another one. And another one. Now we better loot them. 
before the meat gets rotten. Also, there is a axe back here. A shoulder chair and a potion. A potion is always good. At the beginning, you won't need them, but the more you have later on, the better it is. Because later on, you've had so much health that you don't actually need food to re establish your health back to full. It's gonna take a long, long time to do that with normal food. Trust me. You want to keep those potions close to your heart. Close to your very heart. Now let's loot that scavenger here. It's probably worth doing that. Now we are going to talk to Cavalorn in a second. This is the guy inside this hut. But first... I want to clear his warehouse section back here. And make it easy for him to get back here again. Now, let's get those healing herbs. I don't believe we can actually open this door. And it would be cool if I could turn around, thank you. Okay, let's save before we try to unlock this door. Because I'm not entirely sure we have the amount of lockpicks that we need. Okay, it seems we need the key for that because we can't open it with left or with right. So you open doors lockpicking wise with left and right, or A and D in this case, and try to open locks. However, it seems that this doesn't have a lock basically. We can loot this chest, I believe. Where there's a lockpick, beer, and some stuff, as well as a key. And that key will allow us to open that door. Yeah, I totally forgot about the key in the chest. Duh. Why do it the hard way? We can do it the easy way. There's also a spell scroll. And more beer. What else? And the bow. That can be quite useful. Now we can equip that bow as well. So we now have a bow and a sword. Now we get a torch. Open that chest. Get some more stuff that we can sell. And now I believe this chest should not be able to be opened normally. And there we go. A lockpick, an axe, a sword, a loss of ore, arrows, and firebolt spell. Now, as you can see, we've got a lot of items that we can sell for quite a good amount of ore, and the more ore we have, the sooner we might get an armor. And that is actually quite nice. Now, the good thing also about Cavalorn is that you can rest inside this bed here. Well, makeshift bed, more like. And we're gonna sleep until the next morning. So we're healed up, it's raining, and yeah, crappy day already. Wonderful. Let's talk to Cavalon. What are you doing out here? I'm a hunter. Above all, I hunt scavengers. That sounds great. Where will I get a bow? Well, I do have yeah, one, but you know. I sell the best bows in the old camp. Okay. So can you teach me something about hunting? Indeed, what can that you tell depends. me? What do you want to know? So you can learn sneaking from him and bow skill. But I Show actually want goods. to see his goods first. So let's get some more on this side. I believe we can actually get 200. Most likely. He's got some very good bows here. Like the rider's bow and such. Really nice. Now let's sell all this stuff that we don't need, especially the wolf skin and the teeth. And we can sell him his key back, for example. Oh, I believe that was troll fells. Or oh, shadow beasts, yeah. Those are really, really hard to come by at the beginning. Sell quite valuable as well, though. We've got light and firebolt. We've got a lot of weapons that we can sell. Root sword, an axe, with two more. R 
right. That should give us 200 ore in a very quick manner and fashion. Wonderful. Now, onwards to the old camp, I'd say. Because we now have enough ore to do a lot of things with it. But also enough ore to be able to buy certain things that I might need later. Like, for example, new weapons or a basic armor for basic protection. However, for the time being, I probably will skip that. And we'll see how I definitely will need armor later. But I'll try to get around the first bits of the game without having any armor at all. Ah, uh, there's a wolf. I hate wolves. Maybe I can get around that wolf without actually attacking it. That seems well enough. Good. Great. So this is the way to the new camp. Should arrive there pretty soon. Now, let's make that a little bit slower here. I'm not sure if there's... There's a goblin up here. I knew something was up. I believe we are stuck again in fighting mode. And we are dead. Wonderful. Because I couldn't turn around neither left nor right. This was, of course, a little bit of a bummer here. But, you know, it happens. It doesn't always happen like that, but sometimes the game just bugs out and you basically can't do anything at all. It happens. Luckily, not always. Is this, is this yes? I knew something was here last time I went by. It's like you getting insane. No, actually not. Just my eyes are a little bit less precise at the moment. Right. This time, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna draw our weapon and save before we go around that corner. No, we're not cutting the corner. Because we're fighting them. Don't want to let them be on the path here. Oh, again! Ah! I seriously hate that when it happens like that. Like, you can't do anything, you can barely walk if at all, and then you just get killed, and that is so awful. Ugh. Great. Well, we killed it anyway, so I suppose that is good. It's another 120 experience for not. So that's always good. I believe there's a bed over here or something. No, there's actually a bench. Yeah, not a bed. Close enough though. Let's save before we open that chest, shall we? Or try to open it, that is. There are lots of scavengers over there. There we go. Two lockpicks and lots of ore. Now we do want to fuel up our health a little bit. Not too much, because I think we're quite alright for the time being. Let's make it three times. That should be fine. Now let's fight these scavengers here. They were a little bit risky jumping over that, but you know. Around. And they don't care if their bird brothers are actually killed. Lovely. What team plays this? There we go. These birds are no team players at all. They're walking around in herds, but they don't care about each other. That is a sad, sad day for bird population. And for the birds themselves. Now basically, inside this little, well, valley there, is a new camp. 
but for the time being I want to avoid that because I want to go to the, to the old mine for now. There should be some mole rats over here that I can kill and there should be a cave nearby as well. And level up. And I would seriously like to move again somewhere. There we go. There we go. And get that Serapis and take a look inside that cave. Not sure what's inside there. Hmm. Nothing, which is just great. I thought there was actually something in here. Hmm. That was wrong, it seems. Very well. We are going to take the way down there. I'm gonna see if we can kill more things. Cause that's the oh yes. Yeah, you can draw your sword, you don't have it in the air. Uh. There we go. Right. Now the three scavengers dead. Good. Now the path to the new mine, uh, to the old mine, is down there. Oh yeah, there is actually a new mine as well. Making a pattern there? New mine, old mine, new camp, old camp. Yeah, yeah. Pretty, pretty basic stuff. Not really naming it really well, but you know, it was their first game they actually made, and I suppose that sometimes that things are just getting named easily, so they can be. Well, they don't interfere with anything. The story long was actually quite nice, and we will discover more of that in the coming episodes. Also, I want to take a look at these watchtowers. I'm not sure if we can actually find something up there. And before we fall off, unfortunately, sometimes that happens with ladders. Uh, I want to take a look up there. I'm going to save my client. Ooh! Yeah, well, that was my fault. But I saw there was nothing up there, so I could take the quick way down, you know. Like, just let ourselves die. So these first few videos will actually be about joining a faction, seeing what we can do with a faction. And at some point... There's nothing up here. At some point I'm going to actually decide what faction I want to do this playthrough. I've played the game multiple times already. I've played it with every faction, actually. So I know exactly what kind of weapons, what kind of armor they have and some such. There's also small loading screens once you enter this area, for example. That's something we want to do right now. Hopefully that doesn't crash the game. Because that would suck. No, actually it works out. Wonderful. And we get a pickaxe as well. And some more mushrooms. Lovely. Well, let's take a look over here first. There's a digger. That's Glenn. How about talking to you, Glenn? What should I keep in mind when I'm in the mine? Beware of the mine. Well, that sounds great. The further you get down, the closer you get to the beasts. Those rotten creatures come directly from Billiard's realm. Billiard's realm. You can hear them. Wow. What kind of accent is that? They're sitting in the dark, just waiting for you. I've seen them kill. They're merciless and fast. If you enjoy being alive, you shouldn't be down here. You better go before something happens to you. Alright, I will keep on my toes then, and not be in here for too long. There is Drake, but I'm going to save here, and next time 
we are going to actually discover what's inside the old mine. By the way, look at this layout. This is horrible! Like, totally, the bridges look not really safe to go over. And, oh my god, this is so not really what someone wants. Whoa, lots of mushrooms here. Cool. This is not where you want to live, especially work. What would security say about this? Like, you can walk over that bridge without actually having to fill out Form 345. And especially the statics are not that great. Well, we can't really do anything about it. What we can do is, we can delay it to go down there for another episode. So, I will see you next time.